Welcome to Win Souls TV. This is, your <laughs> this is your host, Jeff Thomas. I hope you guys are having a blessed day because we are going to talk about asking, seeking, and knocking. Now, a lot of us, uh, we be okay. Let me just begin by saying this: we live in a world where a lot of a lot of us simply put just want instant gratification. We want to be able to pray for something and immediately something happens. Now, I'm not saying that God doesn't work like that, but a lot of times we need to continue praying for something in order for it to manifest. Because I've noticed that if the Lord doesn't say no, then what that means is uh, keep going, keep praying. You see what I'm saying? If he doesn't say no or wait, then you keep going. Then you keep praying. You keep seeking because during that process, what he is doing, he is building your character. And by building your character, brother and sister, he is putting you in a position to where not only are you able to teach that specific lesson, but now you are in a position to receive whatever it is that you have been asking for all along. So let's go straight to that verse. Matthew 7, 7 through 8. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Let me tell you a little story. So I went to a business conference and one of their mottos for marketing to specific people or everyone really was to be relentless with it, to never stop with it, to continue going with it no matter what. They had a little motto and it was you continue asking or talking to that person until they say no, until they cry, buy or die. You just continue going over and over and over and over and over until they have completely closed the door to you. And that makes people feel so uncomfortable. Oh, well, well why doesn't he just, you know, give me what I need the first time that I ask? Or, or, or why doesn't, you know, he pick up the phone every time I call him now? But guess what? He hadn't said no. And I'm just talking about people in general. Or, or, you know, I keep knocking on his door and I know that he's at home, but, you know, I got Girl Scout cookies out here. Why doesn't he, you know, want to answer the door? You know, but he, guess what? He hasn't said no. He hasn't said no. So you keep going. And it's the same thing that relates to Christ, because like I said before, he is building your character during this time period that you are forced to continue pursuing after him, pursuing after him. And so with that said, I'm going to tell you another story. I used to be very timid when I was uh, around 15, 16. I was very timid. And now it's like the inner me is, is fully outward now. Uh, which means that I'm, I'm, I'm pretty aggressive when it comes to life. Uh, <laughs> um, but what I'm saying is that during that time period, you know, I was just so timid that, and I told this story in another video, that when I would knock on the door, it would just kind of be like, you know, you know, it, it was like I was knocking, but it wasn't knocking like I expected you to know that I was there, you know. And so with that said, I had gotten so used to being quiet, so used to being timid, so used to not voicing my opinion that when it came time for me to knock on the door because I needed something from my dad's bedroom. OK, I needed something from that bedroom. And, you know, they were getting dressed, they were getting ready for 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 church as we all were. But I think I needed maybe like a belt or some socks from that room. Don't know. Don't remember. But I knocked. Just barely. Just barely, just barely. But and I had been standing there for like a minute, just knocking, 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 but barely knocking. And my dad just happened to walk by and he just opened up the door. He was like, were you knocking? And I was like, well, yeah, because keep in mind, I was a little timid and I was afraid of my dad at the time. 
And uh, and I was like, yeah. And he said to me, well, boy, not like you want something. And then literally when I started reading the Bible, it hit me so hard. It was like the Lord brought that to my remembrance when I read that verse for the first time for myself rather than just hearing it in church. And when I read it, he brought up that story and it was just like, man, okay. So when you not, you not like, like you expecting somebody to come to the door. Like I want your attention. Look, I'm outside. I am ready. I got a delivery for you. And if you don't want to come get it, I got something else for you tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Try to annoy Christ with your requests. Try to uh, uh, literally if you could imagine a door standing in front of you and all you have to do is knock every single day to beat that door down. Beat it to oblivion, not with your feet, not with your knees. Beat it with your elbows. Beat it with your fists. Do not stop unless he has told you no and unless he has told you wait. But even then, that does not mean stop. That means keep going. I am building your character. So Christians, do not stop knocking. Continue going. Continue in prayer. Being steadfast and moving toward those specific things that the Lord that, that the Lord has already put in your heart that you are requesting from him. So go after those things and beat down the door and beat it until you get an answer. You guys be blessed. Keep going. Be ferocious in your pursuit after Christ. Because he'll never stop coming after you. See if you can match that. Would you 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 probably never never match it, but what I'm saying is if you said that is your goal, beat down that door, beat it, beat it until it don't beat no more. Beat it until you got blisters and sores all over your hand. Beat it until you got bunions on your toes and corns on your toes. <laughs> Be blessed. Have a good one.